You had come to see me a few months ago with what symptoms? I was having terrible vertigo. Um, it, I woke up one morning and could hardly get out of the bed. I was spinning so bad. I managed to get up and started vomiting and just a really scary episode. Did you have any um, hearing loss or fullness in your ear at the time? I did. That was coming on for probably six to eight weeks before that episode. Which year, I, which year was it? It was my left ear and okay. I just noticed a fullness in it and I couldn't hear as well and I thought to myself I probably need to get this checked out but it wasn't until I had the very dizzy vertigo episode that I came to see you. And when you came to see me, we did some testing to determine what was causing that set of symptoms, which was vertigo, fullness in the ear, hearing loss. Did you have any ringing sound in the ear? Yes, especially prior to the episodes, yes. And have you ever had any ear problems before like this or anything like this? Never. No. Any family history of this? Anyone else in your family with these ear problems, ear symptoms? No. And then we did some testing, and what happened as a consequence of that? Well, I, I took certain foods out of my diet. Based upon the test results, you had some testing for food allergies, IgG food allergies. You got a list of that uh, test result and looked at the results and figured out a way to eliminate those foods from your diet. Exactly. And I just, within even a couple days, I noticed improvement in my ear, just a less full feeling. And over the course of just eliminating those foods, I did not have any subsequent episodes. And it's been how long now since your last episode of Vertigo? It's been three months because I can tell you it was December 23rd. Was two my, that's how bad it was. I remember the date. Of 2014, correct? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now it's April of 2015. Right. And I've not had a Vertigo episode. And I notice if I do slip and eat some of those foods, um, I will, the fullness will come on again in my ear. And that kind of tells me, you know, hey, you need to steer clear of this because I know that that could probably lead to another one of those terrible, you know, vertigo episodes. Well, thank you very much for speaking with me today. You're welcome.